All right, so, hey, Ryan, thanks for the host. Slightly different stream than normal. Let me hit you guys up with that music. Um, slightly different stream than normal. So gameplay, we're going to be finally ranking these damn servants that everyone asked me to. I'm sorry. <laughs> thanks, Nexus, for the host. <laughs> um... Yeah, this is also going to go up on YouTube, so say hi to YouTube. Main goal is going to be... Drew is also here. <laughs> main, no. No, I, I just didn't know if I said that. I hadn't mentioned you yet. But uh, main goal is going to be for newer players and average players. So when we get to certain characters, like Saber Gilles de Rey, and I put him in a very low tier, I don't want to hear anyone say... But if you use double Merlin, waiver, battle suit, limit broken, whatever, formal... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, hang on, that's not how I'm grading them. So, assume yeah. basic team comps will play a heavier uh, factor in my decision making. Blackbeard better be yes. Of course, he's S in my heart. As he should be. What up, Cthulhu? But yeah, no, this is, I figured this is the best way to do it because um, there's no way I'm going to be able to do 70 individual spotlights. While also doing regular content, so yeah, it's kind of impossible. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna. This is gonna be the official free-to-play tier list for now, from GNA Reviews. It's three star and below. Not not some um, not welfares, because those all the welfares have their own spotlights. <laughs> yeah, to alter free-to-play. That's cheating. You can't throw four stars in this list. Anywho, let's get started. Yeah. Um, first up, Sabres. We're doing it by class. Jason! My friend Jason. So. Go to who route. <laughs> yeah. Um, go, go ahead. Like, so when it comes to the newer five star, or the newer five stars, ha! Huh? The newer three star, or the newer bronze servants, I'm not as familiar with them because I haven't done much playtesting. However, I do know Jason can loop with double Castoria. Um, that's not as much of a factor for me. Um, his skill set... Yeah, he's a, he's like the, the free-to-play farming saber, essentially. Um, yeah. his skill set has a heal, pretty short cooldown. Uh, also removes debuffs. He has a, he's able to grant evasion, which is pretty good. Uh, charisma, pretty good charisma. And he has like a bunch of Argo related buffs. So if you're like Herc or um, anyone related to the Argo, Media, I think Canis was also part of it. Yeah. Canis and um, uh, then twins. the twins. Actually, that's a good point. You can make a good pair with the twins. Yeah. He gives a bunch of uh, NP buffs and crit buffs and all that good stuff. His NP also increases his arts card effectiveness pretty good. I didn't even look at it. I was already sold when I saw a skill set. I was like, wow, this is actually pretty amazing. It's not a bad skill set. And he has an like AoE NP. Yeah, for a one star. And he has an AoE NP. There are three stars with like less impressive abilities or skills. He doesn't have a tr this. an NP charge, does he? Mm. Oh, third one for the... For, for Argo, not for himself. Yeah, yeah. His third skill doesn't affect himself, does it? No. Oh, except self. Boo! I was about to say, yo, yeah. hey! <laughs> um, yeah, so... Obviously, A tier is very strong. S is OP. B, kind of like the average filler servants. C are the poorer servants who need some help, like some buffs, before they're considered good. And then D are just joke meme servants who are horrible. I'm thinking Geronimo has S tier animations. Where, well, you know, when we do the animation tier list, I'll be sure to put him up there with with uh, Summer Abby and everyone else. Yeah. What's this tier list based on? Just gameplay? Yes, just gameplay. Purely gameplay tier list. Yeah. With respect that it's more geared towards casual and newer players, so not as much focus on who can double Scotty, double Castoria type thing. Um, I'm thinking just B. Yeah, like, if if he did all, like, I think if he did a dirt skill, if it affected himself as well, then yeah, I would have argued for A. Yeah, I mean, he's good farming. 
his Argo niche is pretty nice, but it's not. Uh, I wish it affected him. Jason should be around B tier since free to play doesn't have supports like Para Mozart. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. He does pair well with other free to play supports like Hans and um, Paracelsus and Mozart. So you can definitely build a good team around him. You can definitely build a good team around him. And for a one star, he's probably one of the better ones. Actually, no, some of the one stars are broken. But. Man, he's average. He's worth he's worth using if you don't have a um, a better art saber. Yeah, it looks like chat agrees. Low A, low A, B. Yeah, I didn't do any pluses or minuses because I don't want to get too much into the nitty gritty. I just want to give like a general consensus. So yeah, I would I would probably say upper B, lower A, but just for the sake of the argument, B. Next up. <laughs> A server who's nothing like Jason. Saber Gilles de Rey. I went straight to the one. Well, who'd you jump to? I'm not putting him in C just yet. This is a this is worthy of debate. Whether he's a meme or not. Cool tier, F tier. <laughs> Let me turn the F tier. Not the F tier. Um um, I'm not gonna fight you on that. It's I'm not putting him on C just yet. I'm just. Uh, let me turn up your audio because you sound a bit low. Okay. There we go. My mic a little closer to me. Honestly, C. He gives some good face card damage, but he's a big need of help. Um. Yeah. Having an NP that's just basically a buster buff kind of sucks. He can do some big damage. Um. Let me pull him up, just like, cause I, off the top of my head, don't remember what his skills are. Go figure. Yeah, they're really underwhelming. <laughs> oh, he has, <laughs> has he never gotten a buff besides that? And he's never gotten a buff. No way. Has he never gotten a buff? I don't think so. Like, that's on like, you know. Yeah. Someone wants to argue that he'd be a D, D tier. I would. I wouldn't fight you on that, but definitely no higher than. C. He's never higher than C now. Yeah, this is this is built, uh, built for more casual than newer players, so keep that in mind with the ratings. Um, yeah, no, he's increase on attack for two turns, attack buff based on NP level. So assuming NP five, you get 100% buff. Yeah, um. I mean, his buster his buster effect lasts for five turns. Yeah, that's not awful. I guess it's not. Uh, he does have mana. You know what? I'm gonna put him in C. I'm gonna leave him in C because he's not a complete meme. You can build a buster team around him. He definitely needs help, though. He definitely needs some definitely other effect help. on his noble phantasm or something. You hear my logic is that you can name five servants that are worse. Uh, I can name some servants worse than Gilderay. Gilderay is a meme, but he isn't that bad. Like, yeah. like, if he got one good buff, he can actually be pretty decent. He's like one buff away from being pretty decent. Who's next? Lay. Um, Fergus. Yes, Mr. Mr. Fergus. Fergus. I actually did a spotlight on Fergus. I forgot what I gave him, but he strikes me as just average, so I probably gave him a B or something. Um, his skills, attack buff, A or B? A seems a bit much. He has an AoE NP, so he can also be used for farming. I don't think he has an NP charge. Does he have an NP charge? No, he's got some good defensive buffs. Yeah. So he's like a uh, defensive farming saber. <laughs> yeah, that also sounds wrong somehow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I am streaming really early today because football is at eight. Football season starts, Drew. Oh, I can't wait for this. Hey, time to record the podcast. Wait, but this game. But the Eagles play, Drew. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Fergus yeah. is a C. Uh, A or B. I'm leaning towards B. 
he's not horrible, but he doesn't. His niche is kind of weird. He does, I mean, if he had yeah, an eight, 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 empty like, charge, he'd be better. Yeah, I'm gonna be. If you don't have the um, if you don't have better B, I would say you probably want to invest in Fergus over Saber Brazil Day, right? For sure. All right, Caesar time, baby. The one everyone hates to love. People always get mad when I recommend Caesar in the spotlights. Mm, but, 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 what? Because he's <laughs> like body shaming reasons, that's why. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, that's not nice. That's um, not nice at all. He is a good crit support. Yeah, and he also got a. He got a really good NP buff now. That, yeah, that's really good, actually. Uh, Miguel, thank you for the Miguel, thank you for the follow. Just so I understand, it, increase own buff success rate based on remaining HP. Eighty percent chance to increase own attack by ten percent for one turn, and it to max five times per NP as long as buff succeeds continuously. Uh, mm. Yeah, he does do. I think he's the highest, like, if you, assuming you don't have, like, an NP5 Musashi, he's probably the highest damage dealing Saber. Yeah. He can out damage like Okita. Big Popa, thank you for the, Big Papa, why can't I read today? Big Papa, thanks for the follow. Not Big Popa. <laughs> Big Popa. Yeah, he does stupid damage. The stupid, literal five-star tier damage. Um, and he's a good crit support. I think he also has a charisma. For like, yeah, he does have charisma. He has charisma. Is this all service? Just three star and lower. Just three star and lower. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think he's kind of OP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think kind of ass. Yeah, I think I think he's probably the top priority of a saber, assuming uh, yeah. you have a saber that you need to level. Even probably over some four stars, I'd probably pick Caesar. All right, final saber because there aren't that many. Better veer, yeah, no, he does shit tons of damage. Caesar does ridiculous amounts of damage. How does chat feel about Betty, Betty boy? Uh, I'm leaning towards A or uh, maybe A. I'm I I think if you have him like NP five, you can make an argument for S. But he is story locked, so he's really hard to get. Yes, yeah, so I will be posting this on YouTube. Um, he is story locked, so it's kind of hard to get him up to S. Hey, TG, thank you for the sub for three months. Cheers. Thanks, Beck. Um, yeah, no, he he. Very good damage. Very good Buster damage. Single target. He has tactics, so NP damage buff. He does have a 30% NP charge. He's very good. He is very good. Very good. Boss I would. I would. I would. I would. I would. I still wouldn't say S, but he's very good. Hey, thanks but for the thank buzz you. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you. Yes. Uh, how was how was Joe not a meme? Because he's actually, if you build a Buster team around him, he can be pretty okay he's not he's not a complete joke he does have some good buffs he just needs a damaging NP uh, we don't rate limited servants low do we depends on what do you mean by limited servants like uh, story locked and oh or do you mean like Ezo uh, and yeah no Betty's I think Betty's a solid a so here's your saber tier list definitely go for Caesar first Betty, a strong second. Um, if you don't have either of those two, then you can go for Jason or Fergus, depending on whether you want... Uh, they're both good farmers, so I guess depending on whether you want Arch or Buster. And then Saber Joe's just hanging there. Agreed. All right. Oh, Rosh. Do we? Does this really need... Do I need, to, do I need to look at Rosh's skills, or are we just going <laughs> to... <laughs> what are Rosh's skills? That's just... Yeah, let's just get him in and keep him living. Yeah. <laughs> S tier, he's an excellent farmer, probably the best farmer among the, all the 
two star or three star lower servants definitely prioritize him for farming he kills everything paris one of the newer servants paris this is okay, hey what up gemini two star archer see ya. so it's gonna be a struggle not to put all, all the archers are gonna end up in like a or st <laughs> Paris has some good skills. Paris has an evade. It's yeah, only one it's, attack, it's, though. And it's one attack, but for reduces one and it removes and it removes their removes buffs. Their buffs. Um, yeah, he's wow. buff removal. Damn. And if he removes their buffs, they get a uh, a special debuff that lets him his NP hit them much harder. He has a Girl. big extra damage modifier on his NP. Chile. So he's situationally, he could do a lot of burst damage. He also has independent action EX. <laughs> <laughs> it is situational though, because you do need to remove a buff from someone to do it. To do but it. That, is that really hard? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that there are... Are there any 3-star lower servants that um, give an enemy a buff as a demerit? I think, no. I think Kyohime does, doesn't she? Yeah, Kyo. Got some. You got a power combo there. There's the power couple. Kyo, he made in Paris. Um, he also has a straight up 40% mini little mana burst on him. 40% attack buff. What? That's so. That's a lot. Basically, he has a 20% MP charge. And has a cooldown, a low cooldown. Yeah. Fab, thanks to the sub. Air scale. Or DeFi oh, for gifting low, all the subs. Oh, low cooldown. Oh, DeFi. D5, thanks for the five of the subs, you madman. Cheers! Bitch, I'm on level 3 hype train, what? Woo! Don't make me twerk in the middle of the okay. Save it for the, save it for the, uh, karaoke stream. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh my god, yeah, this That's is That's what I thought, right He's really good. He is, like, really, really good. I, I'm like, do I even have to look at your NP? Arigatou Oh my god! Arthan, thank you! Cheers! Oh, thank you guys so much. Much appreciated. Jesus. I wouldn't argue against putting Paris in S. I'm not gonna put him in S. Because I don't think he's super OP broken. He still has some situational power. All his skills are short cooldowns, though. Mm -hmm. Make sure you thank the people who gifted you subs. Yes, please do thank them. And if you haven't already, do, um... Do uh, tie your uh, Discord to your um, Miss Obvious. Thank you to your Twitch so that you can enjoy the benefits of the uh, the sub. Cheers! Oh my God! Thank you guys so much. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> I love really you guys. I wish I had. A I wish I could take shots right now. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Um. But no, mm -hmm. big thanks, guys. So Paris and A. Yeah. Shot bucket from Distress. Nah, I'll add that. We'll take it um, probably Saturday. Next up, we have uh, Tawara Tota. Who everyone forgets about. Oh, how do you say his you you name? Tawara. T A W A R A. He's not bad. None of the archers are bad. They're all like archers are clearly the most broken class. Yeah, yeah. I saw the, I saw the first skill and I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Farming archer, B tier, move on. I mean, that is true. Decent farmer, advantage against demonic enemies. Very health focused. I mean, he can increase his own HP. He can increase the party's yeah. HP. I would say he doesn't do anything, uh, especially. Yeah, I think he's fair. He's a farming archer. He doesn't do anything especially amazing yeah. outside of that. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Bit. That's not Billy. Woo! Billy. Billy. Uh. Well, Billy yeah. Alter. Yeah. <laughs> William. <laughs> William. William Tell. Young William Tell. Well, not so young. William Tell. He's like Billy. Billy Alter. Oh, is he really? No. <laughs> that's that's my head cannon lore. <laughs> <laughs> you might need more tears. Uh, nah, I think we're fine. Uh -oh. Um. All right. So I'm actually not too familiar with William Tell. 
Mm. I know he has evasion pierce. Oh, his first skill is dumb. What is this? Chance to see enemy skills for one turn and gains 30 crit stars. Ew. What the fuck? <laughs> so skill seal with a star bomb. Second skill is art sky. I'm assuming it's an art seven. He's art seven. Um, thirty percent arts buff and debuff immunity for three turns isn't bad. Oh, Complete debuff immunity for three turns, and then you can make use of those stars because he has a hundred, a thousand percent star absorb and a hundred percent crit damage for one turn. All right, so he's about big dick damage for a single turn. Tell mm -hmm. is an A. Plus, he can go through evade. Oh, not only does he go through evade, he does extra damage that means with evasion. Um. Damn. Hey, what up, Draconicus? I'm doing good. How are you? Tell. I'm. I'm leaning between A and B for Tell. Uh, B. You're saying B? No, I'm saying I'm questioning you. Like, <laughs> question mark? Like it'd be an upper B. <laughs> um. I mean, like, all right, so. <laughs> He does really big dick damage though. Uh he has some really big boy this is some big boy damage. Like well, one union, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I I'm leaning more towards her. Yeah, a, a, yeah. Okay. It. He does a lot of damage. He oh I'm putting him in B. Woo. He does a lot of damage. And he has some good utility with that uh, skill seal and he can self crit and all that shit. Alright, alright, he's A, he's A, he's A. Pants check for Cthulhu. Alright. Now we're back up to uh, Gil. We're back to our shoujins. Gil, child Gil, basically a farmer, has a has a uh, charisma. I think he has a charisma A. Let me check. Yeah, A plus. Oh, A plus. Never mind. A plus charisma. So really good charisma. Hmm. Weak charm, good MP yeah. game. Hey, Mark, thanks for the sub. Cheers. Oh. Thanks for the support, bro. Oh my gosh, Shion, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thank you guys so much. Much appreciated. Oh, cheers you as well. Oh, Miss Obvious, thank you! Always support the thank homies. You. Much appreciated, man. I'm about to run out of water. We haven't even done any hydrates. Right. <laughs> Just from cheersing everybody. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, Kid Gil. Um, he's a good farming, good farming archer, has a good NP gain buff, and good charisma, but he doesn't really do anything outside of that. Not bad. But not um not I think amazing. I'd say B. Same. I did roll for bagpipe and I got her. <laughs> bagpipe. Next up we have Billy the Kid. Billy Billy. 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 All archers left her S. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm not gonna I don't I don't know if Billy's an S. Billy's okay. S? Damn, y'all are y'all are all over this Billy. I, I will let, let's see. So first skills marksmanship A plus plus. Just crit damage. He's he does a shit ton of damage. I know that. Yeah, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not know his quick draw was that good. <laughs> Tete, -tay, thanks for the follow. Yeah. What's his quick draw? A fifty percent MP charge. Yeah. Wow, that's evasion. Wow. He actually has a uh, well. He can reach 150 percent crit damage. He is a crit monster. Why do you have two different? Crit <laughs> can also ignore evasion. And he has a single target quick NP too. Mm. Dude, I feel like he's just like he's essentially reminds me of like Caesar. He does. He does feel a lot like Caesar, except not as Caesar. I think does a bit yeah, more Caesar damage with his NP. Yeah, potentially. 
like, um, ah, crit stuff. All right, I'm gonna. He is very very good. The problem is, like all the archers are so fucking good. <laughs> I still wait. I didn't see a C plus plus. Well, he can't. He can't um, create stars. Can't. What's his hit counts? Eh, his hit counts aren't that good. He's not gonna be a great star generator. Yeah, they're very. Suck it. Thanks for the follow. I'd still put him in B. I'm not B. A. C. A. I'm think. A. I'm thinking A. A. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had any D's yet. Yeah, he has big dick crit damage. Him and Billy have big dick crit damage, but um, but I think. When it comes to the S tier archers, uh, Uriel, because goddamn, she's a monster. Uh, she can. Well, she, well, I don't know. Maybe she can loop with Artorian. Can't she loop with Castoria? Um, but either way, no. She does incredible amounts of damage to like half the enemies in the game. She can stall out enemies because she has curse and drain and can stun lock people with charm. Yeah, she's just completely busted. Um, David. Dave, Dave, Dave. David recently got I, a buff. I, I, yeah, I have a place in my heart because he is one of the servants I used in JP, like, a lot. Yeah, he recently got a buff, so his NP does more damage now. Yeah. He does have the AoE Team Evade, which is his claim to fame. I mean, yeah, Team Evade I, is I, really I, good. No other, I, no other 3-star has that. I, I I literally said I literally told you this. Remember? Yeah. Um, years ago, I was like, "But Oni, he has a t has an AOE evade." Dot dot dot. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think I'm leaning more towards A, only because yeah, the second skill. The second, yeah. He's mostly just uh, utility, and his damage situationally can be really good against giant enemies. Yeah. And then Robin S. Because big dick damage, Archer does a lot of crits, Art Servant. Yeah. He's he's basically three archers you need to level are Rosh, Uriel, and, and Robin Hood. Yep, yep, yep. And you're good to go. Yeah, if if I had the plus ratings in here, I would give David an A plus for sure. But I do not. So alas. Alas, we move on to the Lancers squad. Starting with Ben K. So who was asking who was worse oh. than um than Jodere earlier? Yeah, I was asking it too. <laughs> they would, yeah. <laughs> Has he also never received the buff? I don't think so. He has a taunt. I mean, he has a taunt with a defense buff, but it's not really. If I'm using a taunt, I'm using Leonidas or George. Skill seal. Oh my god. His NP seal is eight turn cooldown? Yikes. Oof, so do I total. Yikes. His NP doesn't even do damage. You, you're on D. You get the D. Well, I'm getting the D. Uh, what are we taking into account? Well, I'm mostly taking into account um, ease of access does, it definitely comes into play. And I actually have done that because uh, I put um, Betty at NP5 would probably be an S, but assuming you only have him at NP1 or 2, I'd put him in an A. So yeah, definitely story locked and um, limited factors in. Gareth. Gareth, I think this is the one I do not know. She is one of the newer Ron servants. I don't remember her being particularly amazing. Um, she, you know, she's definitely an EX tier waifu. But... This is a continuation. Decent guts. Ish. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Um, NP charge with an own attack for one attack. Ew, only a one yeah. attack, five turns of attacking for three turns. Yeah, I'm like, wait. Wait, how's that, how's that skill work? Increase exactly. own, own attack for one attack, five turns when taking attack by enemy. So when she gets attacked. Okay. Yeah, this includes JP buffs. I'm, I'm also looking at JP servants. 
So when this is up on YouTube, it's uh, it's relevant for the next two years. And she does have a taunt. It only lasts for one turn. You did their skill for the second skill. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Invincibility Pierce, and then um, and uh, single target NP. She can lower defense. She has kind of a weird kit because she also has riding. So she has two very, cards. She's very defensive. The fen like she has decent utility with an MP charge, and she needs to be hit. Yeah, she's very defensive. I think she's a solid B. Yeah, not bad, but she's she's definitely not the best defensive lancer because now we're talking about Leonidas. <laughs> All right. Am I ready for Gilfest? Hell no, I'm not ready for Gilfest. Who's ever ready for yeah, Gilfest? What the Um Leonidas. So the question is ARS. Because Leo is defensive goat, in my opinion. Or one of the defensive goats. A A A A. He has a Oh, yeah, I'd say A. He has I would, I would... so many. He has his NP taunts for three turns. And then he has his. Oh, he can potentially taunt for four turns. Uh... Oh. oh, he taunts for. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. I thought yeah. one half is getting critical stars. I did not see those. And he also has a 25% a, a buster buff for the party on a short cooldown. So he's wow, really, like he's really, and he can also produce crit stars. He's really, um, really utility heavy. I would say so. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I mean George 2, we know. <laughs> he's not Yuri out here though. Uh, I think it's one of his defensive yeah. tied to his NP. It is. That is one of his problems. His defensive buff is tied to his NP. He only has one arts card. He has no NP charge. He does have a 100% NP gain buff for three turns, though. I, yes. That's something. It's not everything, but it's something. Yeah, I think A. If he had that um, defensive buff built in, I think that'd be a little bit higher. Or if his taunt. Was, uh, yeah, or maybe if he had two arts cards. Yeah, if he had two arts cards, that'd be better, too. Yeah, that was a quick he, He's kind of like the Lancer version of, uh, of David, in my opinion. Very good utility, he just needs a little bit more of POP. Yes, Ben K and D burn. Where he belongs. <laughs> um, Ku, are we even going to talk about this? Nope, next. Right. <laughs> so, Ku S, next! <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, oh I invoke the wrath of uh, Honoko. Romulus. Um. Wow, this is a really <laughs> strong first skill. <laughs> Did he get a buff oh. recently? Wait, his first skill to get a buff. Like, did he get buff? Yeah. His first skill. Diva for the sense, a 4,000 HP heal and MP, MP charge by 20, so that's... Yeah, it can be used pretty, for farming. Yeah, so pretty good. And then um, Imperial Privilege Miss EX. Mm -hmm. Basically, actually this is funny because this is a better version of Nero's skill. Oh, it's, oh, it's actually stronger? Yeah. Uh, this might be the strongest Imperial Privilege in the game, I think. Oh, it is the X. Yeah. A lot of yeah, HP. He has a lot of HP and you know, he has guts. He is super defensive. Yeah, my god, he's just not dying. Super defensive farmer. Not the best combination of things. Uh, yeah, I think he's solid B. If you need a defensive lance, well, if you need a defensive lancer, you've got Ku right there. But if you need a, for some reason, you wanted a Buster AoE defensive lancer, you got Romulus. Yeah. yeah. Next we have Taiga, the Jaguar oh. man. Who oh, is man. keep in mind she is story locked, so we're factoring that in. Most people will not have her at NP5. Yeah. BB. 
if I remember correctly, Taiga... Taiga has a lot of burst damage, but then her cooldowns... Yeah, like her cooldown on her first skill. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, you're not using that skill. <laughs> yeah, you're using that skill one time. One time only. One time mm. only. Her first skill is like a seven year cooldown. <laughs> Nero has the same rank. Oh, okay. Taiga's a C. Well, uh, no, I, I wouldn't say D, that. Because no. she does do some good damage. 30% buster. I but... want to give her an A, and I would have. But her third skill only works if it's in a forest battle. Field. Yeah. Her third skill basically is just a 50% crit buff. Because you're not going to get the other two ones. Yeah. If she had a buff. That let her third skill be activated anywhere. I think she could be a, a low tier A. Yeah, I, 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 but for I, 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 now, I, 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 she's a B. Yeah. yeah. All right, controversial one. Hozoin. Oh, this one. Hozoin. People gave me so much shit for the spotlight I did on Hozoin. A S. <laughs> I gave him an S in the spotlight, but. Upon further reflection, the thing about him is, if he snowballs, he can be really crazy good. And I, and I as someone who didn't believe you, and then I, I remember I used him once. So I don't know for why. I, I didn't maybe use him with like Scotty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Just if you use him with Scotty, just my own. Go, go crazy. Just my own. Mm. And he was like, kill, 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 kill. Like as long as you have stars, you just. Everything. Uh, what are his skills? Mostly his main trick is his NP, but his skills are uh, he can ignore evasion for three turns, plus increase his own star gather rate or star generating. He has a good, he has a, a quick mana burst, and his third skill is a NP seal and debuff, uh, defense down. But his AoE or his AoE, his noble phantasm is a attack buff that goes up to 50% for three turns, a, a three turn 100% crit buff, uh, and an evasion for one hit. He can also increase his star generating by 100%. So he, he's like crit monster machine. He just fucking yeah, and he has, goes and he off. Has, and his first skill also increases crit star generation. Yeah. So he just, like, basically the whole goal of, of uh, Ying Chun is Give him, let him noble phantasm, and then use click the green buttons, and then he will proceed to produce like seventy crit stars and eat them, and then fucking crit for like a hundred thousand damage, and then NP again, and repeat the process. Yeah, forever so, and ever and ever, amen. But he's very inconsistent because he can, uh, if he can't do that, like if you don't get his cards, yeah, he then can fall off hard. There. So yeah, I, I, I'd say a. Me pull too. Pull back on that one a bit. Me too. Hector! Wow, what a stark difference. <laughs> <laughs> Hector, you know, for the life of me, I don't, this is, I, I have people to this day tell me Hector is, like, really good, and I'm just like, what? I, are we talking about the same servant? Because I look at Hector, yeah, and I'm like, C or D? Yeah, well, if we're talking about, if we're talking about Hector in Okeanos, then that's that, he's S. He's fucking S tier. He's better yeah, than, he's than, than Solomon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's solo <laughs> Solomon. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, his skills make no sense. He has military tactics, so he has an NP buff for the party. Um, yeah. He can drain NP and has a small chance to stun an enemy. And then he has disengaged. So he like, these are three very different skills that don't accomplish anything, really, for his mm -hmm. niche. And then he has an AoE NP. But yeah. if you want an AoE Buster NP, you can just use Romulus and you'll get infinitely better damage. His niche, it. You mean what niche? That's exactly. Like, I, I don't know what he does. Like, these skills aren't bad, it's just. They don't have any synergy whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> like, they just reached into a hat of skills and just threw them on him. His damage is quite nice and good for the party for farming yeah but that's a thing though because then you have romulus who's got better damage and, and an np charge so he's even better for farming yeah i don't think he's yeah. mm. i would uh, i wouldn't put him in you want to put him in d 
I wouldn't put uh, him in. Uh, he's not. He's not as bad as Ben K. Yeah, I say C. Solid C. Yeah. Yeah. C's fine. Next up, Hmm. Pretty boy. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you got going for yourself. D. <laughs> he gets a D for each D in his fucking name. Um, <laughs> see, I'm leaning towards C. He he has um, was a single target NP, quick NP that also it, it removes buffs. It's not a bad NP. But like his NP, honestly, is the only. Thing. Yeah. Oh. He has a basic evade. He's very heavily anti. I mean, his second skill is useless unless you're up against females. Exactly. I'm just like, damn. A skill that's completely useless. But there are a lot of female servants. They are. There's half the servants in the, in the game. How many of them are archers? <laughs> or berserkers? Um. And then star gen, but that's pointless because he has no, no crit buffs. Why do I want to increase the star gen? He's not really a star generator. Jill should be D if Hector is C. Jill de Rey. I mean, maybe we'll come back to that afterwards because people keep our split on Jill de Rey, but. We'll come back to him. I, I think the much is a C. If you're up against females, he actually second skill can actually be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah. Well, I I guess. He's, it's funny because he's better for his utility than anything else. He's best because he can cut female servants of damage in half and then also remove their buffs. But outside of that, he's very, very... Plain. It's only for one turn. And it's only one Well, I mean, when they're about to NP or something, I guess. Yeah, that's useful, I guess. We need more tiers. What? Why? For who? C minuses or C pluses. Either move Hector and Dermot up or move. You have Jill Day Ray. Alright, 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 alright. Right. I know, like, if I have Jill Day Ray, my thing with him is he's like lower C, so. C to C. The D. Keep in mind, he does. He, here's my reasoning for why he's a C, and I'm just gonna leave it at this. His damage buffs are really good. His Buster buff and his attack buff from his NP are good. So if you just need a pure command card attacker and you put him with like Shakespeare, it's pretty decent. He can do some good damage. But other than that, he is pretty useless. But think about it this way, if he got a buff to his NP that actually let it do damage, how good would he be? He'd probably be like a B or an A. But, like they all, I think they're all fine being C because when I think of all three of them, I'm like, ooh, should they be in D? Like if that's a question if you should be in D, you definitely belong in C. And I, and I feel that way equally. I mean, I will stuff. say that if he's not in D, uh, the D category is going to be pretty light because there aren't many... There aren't many other super joke servants. Alright, for the for the purposes of appeasing chat, we'll put him in D. I think he can go either between D and C. Either way, let's put it this way. Don't level him before you level all the other sabers in your party. He's literally the worst saber in the game. Yeah. <laughs> ben K had about the game one percent charge to give the S. Alright, fine, fair enough. Fair enough. You've convinced me. Next, last set, uh, Lancer we have is um, Kuproto. Proto's an A. I think so too. He's very good for crit damage. He's a very, unlike Hozoin, he is actually very consistent with his crit damage. I feel like Hozoin is high risk, high reward, but stability wise, um, he has a really good Noble Phantasm, does good damage. Uh, he has a really low cooldown crit buff. It's five turns. But it's up for, it has three turn uptime. So it's only down wow. for two turns. Wow. Yeah, and he has like a star absorb. Yeah, from an A. So yeah. 
I guess if you if you want to take a chance, go for Hozoin. And if you just want to be consistent, go for uh, Kuproto. Hey, where's the Star Absorb? It's on his third skill after the upgrade. Uh, uh okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> Agreed. All right, moving on to the Rider class. Calvary time, maybe. We have Bartholomew, who I'm also not as familiar with, but I do know he's crazy fucking good. Because he, um... I believe he's a quick servant who has, even though he's a rider, he does have a uh, star bomb. I would say B just represent how far below he is from regular Q. No, we're not. This is not the Q tier list. <laughs> um, no, but Bartholomew has a star bomb, right? Uh, or no, he does increase the party's critical damage for three turns and reduces his own star absorb. By 100%. Maybe he does. Does he have a star bomb? I thought he did. Oh, he does. He does. Yes, he does. It's last skill. Um, I would have liked if the third skill was AoE. Mm hmm. It's just for himself, yeah. So, and it kind of doesn't make any sense because, like, the second skill is to, you know, to buff someone else up. So, that kind of doesn't. Make All his skills are party wide except his third skill. But his first skill is really good for the party. Check skill 3. Write it down. I will. Actually, yeah, that's 2 for Jack skill 3. A for fucking Chad. <laughs> He's A level support, that's why being 1 star. Um, he does have an AoE Noble Phantasm, and he reduces defense by 20. Yeah! I think he's an A. He has really good attack buff or damage buffs for the party. He can give them stars while reducing his own uh, advantage. I think he's pretty good. Yeah. I just missed the good skill with AoE, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't complain. Um, what are we going to do about um, Blackbeard down there? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's not. Not bad. From what I remember, his skills aren't actually like awful. Like, um, um, AoE Noble Phantasm does grant crit stars. Not that many. Reduce RP. So he does have a drain effect. Drain is good. That AoE drain teaches B. Similar skill to Bartholomew. Actually, that's the same exact skill as Bartholomew, except his. Bartholomew has 17 instead of 16. Uh, yeah. Own attack got. Gains. And third skill's kind of meh. Yeah. <laughs> That's AB. Wait, parties? I think like it's an AoE heal? Yeah. It's only 2,000 though, unless it's females, then it's 4,000. Mm. And has a long cooldown. So I'm, I think B's fine. He's, his best thing is his Noble Phantasms, AoE. So he can be used for farming. He's like a mini Drake. Yeah. Wait. Oh, you put him in B. Okay, cool. Yeah. Agree. You got tonight Chiefs or Texans? Um. Girl. <laughs> Texans. I think the Texans. People are over... It's just the, 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 the person in me that likes to root for the underdog, even though I do like the Chiefs. I think the Texans. Uh, George. S. Yes, George. S to George, because he is literally the best tank. So, yeah. Yeah. I remember I used him, like... I also used him in JP, and I was just mm -hmm. like, wait, what? Wait, you're actually good? Wait, what? Yeah, no, he's amazing. He is, he's the reason why Leonidas is an A instead of S. <laughs> so whatever I said about Leonidas, multiply that for George. Uh, what up, Pioneer? Streaming early because uh, football at 8. Medusa. What are we going to do about... Remember, this is a gameplay tier list, not a waifu tier list. I say to the future comment section. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, it's a gameplay tier list. <laughs> Not a waifu tier list. 
Hey, hmm, I sense some bias in the force. Literally, literally, just farming. She is just farming, but her... Like, mystic eye, I guess. If you slap, yeah, the mystic eyes, the stun is good. Her second, her, I think my only problem is her second skill. Mm -hmm. It's so underwhelming. But, um, her, yeah, her, her Noel Phantasm just, uh, it's, 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 it's not, yeah, it's pretty much, it's that bitch. Yeah. And her Noel Phantasm is pretty good. At least over Blackbeard is she the false day. Well, that's true. She is better than Blackbeard. That is the most convincing guy. All right, you got me. You got me. I can't, I can't deny that she's better yeah. than Blackbeard. So there we go. S. S. Ha. A. Yeah, AoE NP with charge, so there you go. She's very good for farming, I would give her that. And yeah, she does have good NP gain as well. Alright, my girl Ushi. Oh, gosh, yeah, remember what we said about no bias? Nah, except the Ushi bias. I accept Ushi bias. <laughs> well, I do not. <laughs> Somebody has to love her. Fucking DW doesn't. Trash tier. <laughs> what? Banned. Who wants to ban? <laughs> um, so yeah, first skill's pretty cute. I got that quick buff. Yeah, party wide too. Oh no, it's herself. It's party's NP generation, but her own quick buff. Um, second skill is just as high buff. So. Mm -hmm. It's a really low charisma too. Yeah. And then she gets an evade. Mm -hmm. Her big thing is that her NP hits like a truck. Her NP really hits hard. And that that 90% crit star generation. Mm hmm Well. Assuming, assuming you had a 500% NP charge. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought... It was the other way around? Yeah, I saw level 5 and I was like, 90%? Ugh. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. I lied. Well, um, 50% still isn't bad. It's, yeah, considering I think she also has her own NP or star gen buff. Yep, her first skill. So it's very much like someone else who. Hey, thank you for the bits, Ball <laughs> Compass. Sorry, there's another servant that also did that. Like, oh, I think it was Hozoin? Mm hmm. Yeah. Who MP did the same thing as his first skill? Mm hmm. Um, so yeah, not S. Definitely not S. Because I said she's like. I yeah, said she's nah. like Hozoin. I, th I think A I is fine. Mm -hmm. That's why I put her. A A should be good. A should be good. Good though. Very good though. She has no hits though. It's irrelevant. This is not a Scotty tier list. <laughs> <laughs> and also, her NP gain is not bad. I don't think it's bad, is it? What's her What's her hit count on her cards? Uh, her, actually, her hit counts are pretty bad. I feel like that's that could be said for like the majority of these star servants. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Alexander. Oh, she's better than the others. You have an A. Uh, I wouldn't say she's better than like. Listen, A. It could. She'd be like A plus. But you know, A. A generally speaking just means very strong. Anywho, Alexander, show to Alex. A. Uh, best free to play quick support. He is a really good quick support. He also has a weak charisma, though. He has buff removal now. I forgot about that. Uh. <laughs> Star gen from his NP. And a quick buff for the party. So my problem with him is that like one thing I like about Medusa is that like yes, Medusa without her MP is like meh, but like once you get her MP, like mm. I can see how she can keep going and keep fuck not wait, not her. I meant Ushi. Mm. Ushi can keep going. I don't get that impression from Alexander. He's definitely not a damage dealer, though. He, he's more like just 
support. Support. Mm-hmm. Give it up, Salad Ranger. Support. And I think he's he's a good support though. I'll drop him there. Okay. I think I guess for considering this is a three star tier list, I mean charisma plus a quick buff plus buff yeah. removal. Yeah, yeah. They're they're all use very useful skills and it and his MP ties into it. Hey what up Salar? She I and Alexander aren't even the same dimension. Well, they do different jobs. I wouldn't say they do similar damage, but yeah, they don't do. Similar I would, damage. I would take Alexander first. I would use Alexander with Ushi, but yeah, A tier should be split up. Fine. You want to do Drew? Do you want to do a A plus tier? Um, Since it is getting packed in here. I mean, fuck it. I guess he just always edit out post. <laughs> he just always edit out post. Nah, we'll just keep it on the fly. So A plus, and we'll subtitle it Elite. So these are Elite Servants. Um, Hosuin. Uh, Billy the Kid. David. The whole al- alphabet. Um, I'm hesitant about Bedivere only because I'm assuming NP okay. one or two, not NP four or five. Bedivere, David. Uh, David's up there. Uh, Ushi, yes. S. Silj, thank you for the follow. I would put Leonidas up. Uh, mm. Yeah, and I'm keeping. I'm keeping Bedivere A. Because he's not, he's not, um, yeah, and I can survive ability for buddy too. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. About to proto. Nah, he's fine there. AOD Scout, thanks for the follow. He's fine there. Because at his best, he's still not better than Hosoin. Okay. Leo and A+, Leo and A+. Alright, Leo and A+. Only because I, I was hesitant on that one too. Um, anyway, now we have red hair. I actually don't know this one. I uh, don't know you too well, because I don't play JP. Uh, I've... He's story lock, so keep that in mind. Story lock servants, I'm assuming NP1 or 2. At uh. best. We're still not bad. Quick buff for three turns. Three attacks, five turns. Crit sergeant. He has riding EX. Oh, a quick servant. He has four hit quick. Um, good. Cancer grant self evasion. Third skill combat maneuver. Crit damage. Basically, I mean, crit riders are pretty good. Doubly so if they're uh, star generators themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming I'm assuming B because he's story locked, so he's probably gonna have a low NP level. And there are better crit servants. Okay, I can take B. I think B is fair. Uh, Drew's favorite character, Columbus, who is also still locked. F. <laughs> sorry, there's no Fs here. F as in... I'm sorry, is that S? Did I hear S? F as in fuck Columbus. <laughs> Let's see, yeah. Oh, he has a really weak Voyager of the Storm. Okay. Shitty, like him. Guts, but he has an NP. He has a 30% NP charge, Drew, and he's AoE. Mm. And he has a monster buff. Let's start. Uh, I'd probably say he's, he's literally just. He's literally just Blackbeard. Difference though, the difference though is he's story locked. So do we take a point off of that? Because you yeah. probably have Blackbeard at MP. You know, 5. Oh, 400. Ugh. 400, maybe. 
maybe 500 to all enemies. Ugh. He's better than Blackbeard. Is he though? If assuming Blackbeard MP5. I mean because he has a buster buff. He does have a 30% MP charge. Did Blackbeard have an MP charge? I forget now. He doesn't. Like he does. Oh, then never mind. Mm. Yeah, no, he's B. I thought Blackbeard had MP charge for some reason. <laughs> um. Oh uh, fuck! I always forget this guy's name. Macardio, Macardo. What's his name? Mandricardo, Mandricardo, the last rider. Oh no, we have one more. Huh. He's weird. Who the hell? <laughs> 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 I'm like, I know what now? <laughs> um, oh my god, he does look like Hachiman. Holy shit, you're right. Oh, I can't unsee it. <laughs> he is the Hachiman servant. <laughs> oh no, I can't escape it. Second skill is awkward ass EX. Like. Yeah, it, the second skill is like a fucking Yu Gi Oh card. Wait, so. holy, wait, well, I, 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 I was doing that to like throw shades towards Hachiman. Yeah, I actually have to read all this. <laughs> increase, increase one to increase stealth on attack, activate diva for one turn. I have a chance to disable own HP recovery, <laughs> removes enemy defund. We remove any debuffs when attacking for one turn. 500 chances to sacrifice yourself when attacking for one turn as a buff. <laughs> so you can't remove it. <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got to ask something. Um. I mean, I can see it because he does have a good skill set. He has the quick arts buff on his third skill that's also a taunt. So you can actually activate his second skill pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, he has a party-wide defense and attack buff. I, I wouldn't use that until after no, about the kill. No, it's, it's, it's increases party's attack. The defense buff is for himself. Oh, so I guess it's a that's even sure worse. He alive. I think it's to make sure he keeps alive because he's a three-star. Yeah. So it's um, like you don't want him to die <laughs> before you can use the second definitely skill. Definitely A is projection on his normal phantasm. Yeah, I I can see it. If there's, I really, is there a servant that drains another servant's HP? I don't think there is. Low A. Yeah, we're not talking real teams. Yeah, I can see, I can see a low A. You have to, he requires a lot of setup, so I wouldn't say he's very, even though I gave him an A, I wouldn't say he's high priority, but if you can afford to, like, fuck around, then he's yeah. very good. Wow, he's very interesting. These buffs. He, he increases his attack and bus and attack and quick buffs like up a lot. Mm -hmm. Like he's an interesting uptime issue. Oh, it's only for one turn. I lied. Um, finally, last rider, Budika. Yeah, come on, Budisha. Budika's B. B for Budika. Yo, Budika gets a lot of hate. She really does. I don't think she's that bad. She um she's got some good buffs recently. Where she won't pull her up because I can't remember all her skills. I know she gives like a crit buff to everyone or something. Yeah, crit damage. D. Buff. Oh my God, Savior. <laughs> um. All right, Queen of Victory. Party damage against Roman enemies. All right, that's irrelevant. Uh, party crit damage for three turns by fifty percent. That's not insignificant. It's a pretty good crit buff. Yeah. The guts is whatever. Uh, party's arts by 20%. Not bad either. Yeah. It increases party's defense for three turns and then increase it for. That's. One that's 60% defensive buff for one turn. And an attack buff for three turns. I mean, she's not. Wait, a... wait we mean 60%. Oh, I'm sorry. I did your mistake. I was reading NP levels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Overcharge. Uh... Never mind, that would have, that changed everything. Yeah, it's only thirty percent. Yeah, she's an inferior mosh. Yeah, you're right. Um, I take C. She definitely needs another buff. Yeah. Not bad, but she definitely needs another buff. C C C. Alright. 
Moving on to the assassin class, we got the Dragon of Slayer, Kojiro. Yes. All enemies are but big swallows. The legend. <laughs> Uh, I have a soft spot for him. He's actually, for a one star, does shit tons of damage for considering his class and his. Uh, he's very easy to get to NB5. Because a 20% crit bu uh, quick buff on his NP. He has an evade. I don't really care about second skills, irrelevant. Yeah, third skill's fine. Yeah, yeah. But with, yeah, with the, if you if you do the strengthening class, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's, no, it's kind of cute. Like well, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a big star rate buff. Like huge star rate buff. Hey, what up, Mina? How's it going? Um, the ETR now is I'm leading between A and B. Mm. I'm gonna say B. B. B only because it's quick. His quick, he has three quick cards, but it's like two hits. <laughs> I'm like, mm. Nina, what's up? Increases for three to oh, but he has a quick performance. Hmm. Uh, yeah, his stats are one star stats. He does still do good yeah. damage though, but yeah, I think B's fair. Yeah, he is fair. Ooh, it looks wrong having him right next to uh, Columbus like that. Yikes, I feel like bad. The yin and the yang. <laughs> Alright, Matahari. Is this is this a meme? Are I want smelling a meme I want, here. I, I want to say Yes, but I wanna just let, I just wanna be fair. I just wanna be fair. Yeah. And let me just look at her skills. <laughs> is Matahari about to <laughs> to show her talents to Ben K and Saint Rachel Deere. Defense down. Defense down. Crit star gen. Hey Tempest, thank you for the bits. S T O or Regent tier, how dare you? S T O R R E G E N D tier, how dare you? Um, she doesn't have a passive. No way. Oh, she does. She does. <laughs> she <laughs> to really the does to the shadow realm you go. Oh damn! I was trying. <laughs> I tried. Drew tried. I was trying. I was trying to think of a way. I'm like, we can make this work. But I'm like, yikes. That's one of these. Are sometimes she's not Ben K tier. I mean, Fab. I I don't want to disagree, but like, her skills are very Ben K esque. She has a skill seal. Like she, she has she not received a buff. Like a, she really needs a buff, uh, like a few buffs. She feel, her kid is extremely outdated. Yeah. I'd say the only like her second skills are right. She's than... good for yeah. She's good for lowering defenses. Yeah. And lowering defense, like she's a good debuffer. Oh god, no! Razor's here. <laughs> Run. <laughs> she is a decent debuffer, but. Eh. Like, listen, even in D tier, I can say good things about Saber Jode Ray and, mm -hmm. and I can't say about Ben K, but I, I could say like good things about Saber yeah, Jode Ray. She's, she's giving me Ben K, but yeah. She's giving me Ben, ben K vibes. I don't know. Chad, you could leave your uh, leave your angry comments down below. I will. Mm -hmm. yep. But for now, I'm leaving her. I, the... will, I, will, I will laugh at them later. Um, was that the- no, oh, I will say. Moving on, uh, we have- Oh, fuck, I forgot her name. Don't hate me, I know everyone loves her. Charlotte! Charlotte. Charlotte Cordry. Come on, Miss Corday. I know she's a very decent arts servant. Just wanna read up on her skills a bit. Death rate. Oh no, not instant death memes. Yeah, 100% that was 100% at level 10. Like, yeah. You really need something we've seen CND. No, we're not adding any more tiers. This is fine. 
yeah. This is, first off, there's yeah. hardly anyone in CRD. All I would it, it, intermediate tier would be would be like moving one servant from C and one servant from D. Not worth it. Exactly. She does ignore invincibility, and she has a damage buff, and I think she has a arts buff. No, oh yeah, she does. Oh, it's ra is it random? Yeah, it's it random. Is random. Uh, I was leaning towards B, but that third skill. Yeah, that third skill really throws me for a loop. Charles Sparrow or Atlantis. Low B. Yeah, I'm thinking C. C is basically low B. I'm leaning towards yeah. C. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, that third skill. If that third skill wasn't random. She'd probably be B, but yeah. Um, next up, Hassan of the Cursed Arm. What do y'all think of my cursed arm? Uh, my cursed arm, bro. Chris. What do you guys think of Chris? <laughs> <laughs> C T or D T? <laughs> A F. <laughs> I meant I meant Chris, not the server. No, <laughs> BB D5, thank you. Cheers. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. As I hit my teeth for some reason, but thank you so much. Oh my god, this first skill is he's he's really good. Um, um, cursed arm is don't don't sleep on my man. He also carried me through uh, Orleans. Along with Rosetta, <laughs> yeah, he's a very good star generator. A very good star yeah, generator. Yeah, he's like star, 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 stars. No, 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 star, star. All right, but is he A tier good? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. assuming that all you want is a star generator. No, you can't add conditions like that. I mean, but that's like his niche. Like that's what he does. He's a star generator. And he does generate a lot of stars. I mean, he he has a double star bomb. Yeah, but there's a servant who literally gives that much stars with one skill. God, God, God. But this is for two turns, so you get 15 stars for two turns, and there's a four-turn cooldown. But yeah, but I'm saying someone gives me 30 stars in one turn. <laughs> yeah, but that's not two turns then. It doesn't even matter. It just split between turns. Mm, C or B at yeah. best. Mm. Um, I think B. I think B. I think if he if he gave more support besides just stars, I would mm. give it. Like if he had a party crit buff or something, because I just realized this yeah. is his only crit buff. Yeah. B. Um, who's next? Sanson, my boy. No, he's not. He's not my boy. Oh wow! Yikes. <laughs> I mean, he was cool in Salem, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, whoa, what is him? Let what me just not. Let me just not overstep my bounds. We ain't that close. <laughs> C or D? I knew it. I knew we were gonna start with the D's. Cause he has instant kill memes. Evil alignment buff. That's pretty handy. A lot of things are evil. Buff from or debuff removal. And buff against humanoid enemies. So my problem with him is that he buffs him his own damage. But as an assassin with a Buster Noble Phantasm. Uh, and three quick cards in his deck. Something tells me that his damage isn't spectacular, even with those buffs. Like it, and while the human human alignment, that's not bad. But he wouldn't. Wait, it's human, not like humanoid. Oh, oh, oof, oof, yay, D tier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I tried, girl. I tried. <laughs> oh yeah, so. Up next, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I just, yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason why I introduced the next one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Phantom of the Opera. The, the, the <laughs> what what buff do you get? Did he get buff removal or something on his? I mean, isn't he the only servant who can't loop with Castoria? Not that that's relevant. I'm just saying. That to him. Not like that. Wow. No, he can't. Uh. Wow. So that's like, yeah. I yeah, the the yeah. I can't. I mean, at these skills, I'm just like, wow. They, they're just really uh, no. No. Girl, this is bad. This is just he has all innocent bad. monster. This is just all bad. Reduce, like reduce their defensive resistance. I mean, that's cool. You yeah, know, the, literally the only good skill he has is his skill. Four. Oh, oh, it can chance, it can charm everyone else. Oh, okay. Still D, but okay. Yeah, no, it's D. Now, going on to the other side of the spectrum, we have 100 Face Hassan. <laughs> what do you mean about putting him higher than D? Put him in D. <laughs> I'm trying to play Devil's Advocate. Mm. Um, she's arguably one of the better, or one of the best, um, she might be the best assassin, actually. Three stars. Three awesome. stars. Yeah. Well, wow. <laughs> within the yeah. yeah, she's not better than Kama. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, she's not better than Jack or Kama. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I feel like I'm looking at her skills. I'm just like, wow, this is a. Uh... Yeah, she's basically assassin Shiki for people who don't have assassin Shiki. Yeah, something like a very easy. A? Yeah, don't just look at her skills though. All right, uh, just for reference, a. NP gain up, uh, star gen for three turns. NP gain buff is pretty all right. Uh, projection, but it's only chance based projection, but it's an eighty percent chance, so that's pretty good on a five turn cooldown. So that's good. Her NP's got a buff, and it reduces arch resist for three turns. Yeah, she's an A. Yeah, her NP is crazy good. Buff, uh, arch resist down. That's arch resist down is one of the best. Pro I think that's the best of the resist down because that also improves your NP gain. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. The removing the buff thing kind of hurts at the further skill. Yeah. All right, for Jekyll, C or D. I'm not even gonna entertain anything higher than the C. <laughs> Jekyll's biggest problem is that he has no Noble Phantasm. Like, he literally has no... His Noble Phantasm transforms him into... his. Alright, his his Jekyll version is literally D minus 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 F super bad tier. He, the worst servant in the game. Then he gets... You have to Noble Phantasm to make him good. which In which case he becomes a Berserker. But even then, as a Berserker, he has no Noble Phantasm. Damn, or make some make sense for the wrong reason. <laughs> yeah, no, D. All right, no one's defending him. Yeah. Um. Serenity. 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 I do have a soft spot for Serenity. I do like her as a servant. Yeah. She's also a very good arch servant. Poison focused. Yeah. She's not as good as, as Hunter Face, no. Alphonse, thanks for the follow. Not as good as uh, Hunter Face. She does uh, have an NP drain. She does have star uh, a star bomb skill that also inflicts poison and toxic. She's poison memes. Her best attribute is that she can. She has a low chance. She has a low chance to NP seal. Oh wait, no. Not still a low chance to NP seal. NP drain, debuff success rate too. Oh wait, does she have a debuff success rate buff? Oh, she does. So then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she can NP seal and NP drain. Yeah, she's she's a B. Yeah. I think she's B. very good debuffer. Um, I mean, I guess you can make an argument for a C, but I don't know. NP seal and NP drain are very important. 
so he ain't nearly as useful as cursed arm listen NP drain and NP seal are extremely useful um Ezo Serenity should we see listen she'd be a lower B it's up in the air whether I'd put her as a C. I just think that the, um... I think she could be a C. I understand, I understand why people want her to be a C. Like, uh, move her down to C. Yeah. Stop yeah. It's cause, she, cause she's a... She's kind of meme. She's kind of meme. That's a poison memes. Like, but that's... But outside of that, that's it. But good debuffs. Yeah. Da, da, da. Actually B. Actually, I did do a, um... Yeah, but she has a debuff success rate buff, Razor. Um, I did do a spotlight on Izo, but he's limited. So we're all right. So here's the thing: ultimate unlimited Titan work. Thanks for the follow. Here's the thing: we're not assuming NP five Izo because he's limited. So assuming NP one or two Izo, because this is mainly for free to plays and casual and newer players. Assuming NP one or two Ezo, his damage isn't gonna be. I don't think his damage is gonna be better than Hundred Face. He's very focused around being anti-boss killing. A better legend do. I would still say B. He's all about that one-turn boss damage. Big burst damage. B minus B. Mm. He does have that crit buff. Or crit absorb. And it's a really short cooldown. That's a three. Ah, uh, he's B. I was uh, thinking C for a second, uh, but then his third skill. Yeah, I didn't realize that it was that short. Mm. Next up, we have uh, Drew's other favorite, um, Jinke. I hurt my feelings. Wee. <laughs> I didn't hurt myself. From the uh, the dark ages of Drew's FGO journey. No, I mean, I myself because I was gonna say that she sucks. So I'm like, that's fair. <laughs> see, see, yeah, no, she's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is fair. I don't think yeah. she's better than oh. even Legend. I mean, I mean probably. Ah, yeah. uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm not sure if I'd go with that. She does hurt herself. She does what now? Hurt herself. Oh Over right. Me. Right, I forgot about that. But she. Oh, but she has strengthening. She has all yeah, 20 crit stars. She doesn't have a star. Oh, she does have a star absorb. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which also gains critical stars. Yeah. That's a pretty good combo. And she has a quick buff. With a crit damage buff. Damn, I didn't know they gave her so many buffs. <laughs> oh, yeah, this. Oh, this one. Oh, it's only. Is it a two hit quick or two. Oh yeah, it's a two-hit quick. Street quick cards, mm -hmm. two hits. So she's not a very good star generator. Um, I'm leaning between C and B, but more so towards C. I, I, it's, a, it's okay if you if you put her in C, only because like the damage isn't consistent enough. Because everything's like one turn, one turn, one turn, except for the generate and the mm -hmm. star absorb. If the third, if the third skill was for multiple turns, then I'd argue. Yeah, if that was like a three-turn buff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, now I can say my boy Fuma. What are we thinking about Fuma? Actually, I really like Fuma. I think Fuma. Um, I would actually say because for all the people standing for Cursed Armasan, I think Fuma is better than Cursed Armasan. He's a fantastic star generator. He can actually give evade. Yeah, he's an A. He's he's. 
great utility. Block, yeah, you get block buffs, reduce enemy damage, you can reduce their attack, uh, grant some um, evade to somebody. Yeah, no, he's he's getting an A. He's not A tier. A plus? Mm. I mean, are we going to say he's as good as Billy and David and Hosuin and Leonidas? I don't think I would I mean, he's an what? excellent star generator. Uh, Nah, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. And yeah, he's also AOE. That's great. He's just a good point. But, <laughs> but Deroxium, what about Phantom? Okay, I swear to God, I did not mean to arrange them in this order. <laughs> For casters, Mozart. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, S tier? I'm thinking A+. Plus. I'm thinking Mozart's A+. Because listen, he is amazing. He is absolutely fucking incredible. He is probably... Is he literally the best art support? I think he is the best free-to-play art support. I mean, not counting Hans. Hans is, like, more general. Yeah. Yeah, the star bomb and the uh, buff. I did not know the star bomb did all of that. What? Hello? Yeah, uh, yeah, the star bomb is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> literally zero to fifty. Just straight. It's literally everyone on this turn crits. Everyone just crits. Every instant crit for everybody. A plus. A plus. Oh yeah, Paris on this too. Uh, Volprex, thanks for the follow. Um, I'm gonna go A+. Plus. The only downside he has, though, is that, um... His, and his NP's chance-based... What happened? Uh, his NP's chance-based and his, his second skill is kind of garbage. Yeah, everything is one turn. Yeah, and so... everything is one turn. So he does have a lot of like downtime. Um, next up, all right. Next up, Shangong's asks William Shakespeare. Uh, Shakespeare, I'm leaning towards S as well because he has an NP charge. Wait, that's that, that's like who's that? Who's that one that you put up again? Uh, Shangong. Shangong. He he it. can kill somebody and give everyone else a bunch of buffs. Or does it? Or does that way? He gives a bunch of buffs, and then he also wait. Woo. Ouija, thanks for the follow. He can give a bunch of buffs. Those are his skills. He also has a taunt, party NP charge. He's a berserker support, and yeah, he kills um, your leftmost ally. I think. Yeah, no, he's he's literally arguably as good as anyone else. Like, might be better than anyone else on this tier list. If there was if there was an S plus, I'd put Chengang up there. Um, so William Shakespeare. Uh, a plus. He's also the he's pretty much Mozart, but for Buster servants. Uh, you're pretty much exactly Mozart, but for Busters. He has an NP charge, a Buster buff. Yeah, A plus. He's he's Mozart. Hans S. <laughs> literally, literally yeah. waver, but in was he a two star, or one star, two star form? Yeah. <laughs> um, now from from that great height, we take a brief dip to talk about Mephistopheles. I don't even like. What do you do? <laughs> What do you do? I don't even remember Mephistopheles' skill set. Oh, uh, I remember it being uh, horrible. Yep. Yep. Uh, situation in um, Green. Uh, Josiah, thanks for the follow. Excuse me. Uh, innocent monster, buff block, and curse. It's such an outdated skill set. Yeah. Ignores the. Yeah, no, he's. Wait, why is he C? 
I'm arguing D. Yeah, uh, I. I mean, we uh, there's other servants in D who have buff blocks. Yeah. Um. Also, that's like his only. That's uh, super situational. A three-time buff block. That is so situational. It's not even funny. It is rare, but it's so situational. I mean, is it though? I mean, are we really gonna say Mephistopheles is comparable to like Serenity? <laughs> who, okay. Who also has have... skill seal? Yep. I mean, what's up, Jeff? One has, seal, one has buff block, mm. tomato, tomato. He yeah. does. I mean. Nine. Hmm. What about how you feel about innocent monster? I maybe Thank you, I man. wish because it's only eighteen. It's only twenty percent. Well, eighteen percent, like defense hit. Um, I think I think Phantom also had innocent monster. I... Um, Is it worth bringing? He also did too. It, it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider it if he didn't have like the buff block. Mm. Like, like I don't care about the curse. Uh, I don't. I'm well, just like, block, like he has, like he's weirdly, he has like some really weird support skills. Like it's like debuff slash support. I'm pretty good, yeah. Because so. all right, listen. Yes, he can't shut down break bar memes and gimmicks, but a lot there are some that are unremovable or unblockable, and. Uh, Okay. All you're gonna do is buff block, and then he'll just sit there and do nothing, and then die. So yeah. I don't yeah. think it's worth it just to, like just to have him buff block for three. That's not really gonna. You're far better off just bringing anyone else. Uh, Paracelsus and S because goddamn. Uh, Paracelsus. Yeah. <laughs> he has like a fifty percent. It's fifty percent right NP gain buff. Uh, he has an arts buff for the party. He's just monstrously good. Another yeah. excellent uh, art servant. I recommend using him along with Mozart. Babbage. No, I definitely, I definitely typed in cabbage instead of Babbage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like confused as I can find him. I used to really love Babbage, actually. Mm. He, um, AoE caster. AoE caster who has a bunch, I think he had a bunch of attack buffs. Where are his skills? His damage is still not great, but he does have some, some buffs. Yeah, he has like a mana burst. Mm -hmm. Like a mini mana burst, give himself invincibility. And he has an NP damage buff. He's a good AoE choice, but he has no NP charge. So I think C's fair. Yeah. Yeah, budget AoE caster. I can already tell your list is missing a servant. Who's missing? Uh, next up we have um, Ku caster. Lily. Who? Saber Lily? <laughs> I think that's what you meant. Yeah. Nah, pass. She has her own spotlight. <laughs> I think. I think I did a spotlight on Saber Lily. Um, who was I talking about? Caster Koo? He's story locked, keep that in mind. Just do this if they don't let me get to him. And I'm just like, why? Uh, he has, he's basically a crit caster. Yeah. Which I don't know how I feel I about that. It's weird. He does have an NP charge, 30% NP charge. Buster buff and AoE. He's free, but he's a free at NP one, and he's story locked. So you're very unlikely to get him to, to you know higher NP tiers. And the skills aren't that great, except his first skill. Oh, protection from arrows. Eh, protection from arrows uh, is really good. Yeah, that is actually very good. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think he's a better Babbage, but he's a better Babbage, but not better enough to be me. Next up is oh yeah, S for ass clap. What is that? I don't know his real name. S L S P S P S ass clap. Oh. Uh, S L P S. When he comes to me, he's really good. He is super mega ultra healer. He um basically Iris feel. It doesn't even matter that his N P is like he's story lock really. Why is his first one so? That's a lot of healing for a three star. Yeah, no, all his skills should be on a his skills should be on like a five star. <laughs> Wait, what? Twenty <laughs> percent, everyone. He has a five thousand HP heal. He had for the party. Uh, yeah, NP NP gain rate up, thirty percent for the party. Uh, NP seal. Uh, twenty percent NP charge and party wide buff or debuff removal. Chalet, what the? And then his noble phantasm grants guts and debuff immunity to everyone in the party. Okay. Hey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Wait, his thing is literally just like Iris feel. He's a better Iris feel. I would say like it's almost as this NP is also like on the. As good as Merlin's. Oh, you're gonna get to, you're gonna get blowback on that one. Wait, how much does he heal? How much does Merlin heal? Oh, you're talking just about the heal? I don't know how much Merlin's heal is. Yeah, for like for his no phantasm, mm -hmm. it's it's a HP and MP gauge per turn. And crit stars. Okay, never mind. I take that back. <laughs> so it's it's in that realm, it's not as good. His MP doesn't affect himself. Eh, that's fine. He doesn't really need guts for himself. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we can't give him everything. Yeah, he also doesn't get uh, ice cream when he uses the Noble Phantasm. Um, who's next? Golem Bro. Obviously, Braun. Bro, I mean, like, if you're a caster and you don't have an MP charge of any type, like, you can't be higher than B. <laughs> Me to A. I think I gave him a B. He is pretty decent. He's also an AoE, uh, so he can be used for farming. Um, he has a good Arts Buster buff. And he has an NP charge. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that NP charge. Yeah, he's the best. He is the best um, farming caster, I believe. He can just tell himself off. <laughs> Which is actually very, like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he can kill himself off situationally with the thing. Like you could like activate his ability on turn one, and then that buff works. That works with Chen Gong, right? Yeah, just Chen Gong him. Yeah, he's a. I think I gave him like a B plus in the spotlight or something. But yeah, just for the fact that he can farm so easily, um, and you really need that with a caster, I would definitely say recommend you know leveling him over the other AOE casters. I mean, they could have made his high speed incantation like just, just give it a hundred percent, you know? <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> there's not other three stars who <laughs> do like three hundred. <laughs> uh, Castor Jo de Rey. <laughs> Is anyone standing him? Are we gonna? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. He is literally the worst caster. Next to me, even worse than Mephistopheles. Oh wait, sorry, Geronimo. <laughs> I spoke. I spoke too soon. Oh, that hurts my heart. Hurts my heart. <laughs> sorry, Fino. Yeah, no, he's not. All right, Geronimo is not D tier. I'm memeing. I'm memeing. He's not D tier. His skills are. This is the most uncreative fucking skill set in the world. Oh my, it hurts to look at his skills. Oh my god, they were so lazy! Wait, I... I, as much as I love him, because, <laughs> you know, Geronimo, mm. I actually would argue... I don't know. I would actually argue... <laughs> I kind of would argue... <laughs> yes, rejection. 
I could only argue. I could only argue. D. I mean, he is. Yeah, he has a good no, uh, no phantasm, but like I like no charge, no. Yeah, Jay Z thanks for follow. His hits on his cards are just laughable. Is he a D? What are his card hits? I didn't even look at that. Two, two, two one. one. Oh. Yeah. I like, and this hurts me to say. I'm looking this for anything. I'm looking for anything to put him in C yeah. right now. <laughs> He's a D. Oh, you say he has a he has a one thousand HP heal for the part. Yeah, no, he's, he's yeah. Oh, but he's not as bad as Jill right? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not as bad as Jill I tried, Fino. Don't hate. But he's still down there. <laughs> no, he doesn't have any buffs on NP. He's just a heal and debuff yeah. resist. Media. Right. Media is very good. Good. A or A plus. My only issue with Media is I think her NP damage modifier is lower than average, right? It's not the typical. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's it's pretty. It's very low. It's pretty removable. It's forgettable, but she does remove buffs. Yeah, her NP damage is. Horrible, but she does. Yeah, she does remove buffs, and she get NP twice in a row, and she has incredible NP gain, and she can just spam NP buff from. Yeah, no, she's an A plus. She comes in handy, especially for challenge quests and boss fights. Wait, okay, before we stick to A plus, mm -hmm. how, how does she? I mean, how? How should she potentially loot herself? What, I mean, could she do it if she just literally, like, Noble Phantasm and got, like, three arts cards, essentially? Well, and Noble Phantasm and then just her first skill. Oh, okay. Yeah. With the assumption that you just slap the Kaleidoscope Noble. Well, you don't even have to, like, her NP gain is so good, you should be able to get to Noble Phantasm from yeah, 0 to 100 and, like... It's pretty good. She, she <laughs> can... Do it a lot. Um, plus, she has debuff removal. Say a plus. Oh, I would have gave her a plus if her if you flipped the the order of what happens in her no phantasm. Because there are times I would literally would just use her MP just to remove the debuffs. The debuffs. The buffs. I think that's the only thing that matters, though. Like, I, her damage is just meh anyway. I, like, the only reason to use her NP is to remove buffs. I don't yeah, know. I, She's, like, the I, best buff I, remover, though. Like, possibly in the game. Next to, like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Oh. Um... What's next? Berserker! Berserker time, baby! Paul! Anyway, um, Paul's S plus. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like a, a plus, I I think. A plus. I don't know about that. Only because she's really good for farm. Like S tier. Like, oh, Yo, you guys. She's really good for farm. Like for farming, she is. She's like up there with Arash. Except, except. Mm. Like, that's like the only exception. That's the that's the only thing she can do. Let me see. And yeah, and the MP animation. Can you we bust her buff? I know. She has a quick animation. I use the ice a lot. Like, and yeah. 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 I'm not gonna even an S. I will say she's an A. I don't know if. <sighs> yeah, she has no NP charge. Just like, if she had an NP charge, Scott, give her an S. What? If she had an NP charge, Scott, give her an S. Mm. But like, like her buffs are really good. And her yeah, her buffs are really good. Like she can heal. Like, but keep in mind she's also gonna die immediately because yeah, she has like die. the lowest yeah, HP of saying. anyone in the game. Yeah. Um, like she's built for farming. Yes, yeah, she's really good. Just for her farming capabilities, she mm. is worth it. So hey, use her with um, ass clap, and there you go. You got yourself a squad. Mm -hmm. Um, Asterios. Asterios. I don't know what that man does. 
Um, you know, I never use the scenarios. He he can potentially he can potentially be really good. Like there's there's I've seen a wide range of people who either say yeah, like people are like C A A C. Um, because he does he can. What's his upgrade? Reduce all enemies' attack for six turns. That's a lot. Like a twenty percent, like twenty percent attack reduction for six turns. <sighs> Which can go up to sixty percent for a turn. That's a sixty percent attack buff for a turn or attack debuff. Yeah, that's. I do it thanks for the follow. That's, that is pretty. Uh, that's pretty nice. But and then see, it, it's a lot. Mm. In other things, or, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Like I know, I I was like, Paul Lynn's good if you slap her with the kaleidoscope, and it's like with him, he yeah, yeah, he's good defensively, but he's also like he's he's situation like he needs a good team around him, like to, to exploit his niche, like his attack down niche. Like, if you paired him with, um, Yagyu or something, and you can just spam attack down on enemies, then yeah, it can, you know, he'll be crazy good. But, assuming you don't have that and we're just working with the free-to-play stuff, I'm leaning towards B. Oh, oh B, I, I was never even considering it. I was never. Why? Why you were gonna say C? I mean, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. yeah, you but can do so, Masha stereos, I guess. Yeah, I'm just like keep in mind, like yes, supports are cool, but like a support berserker that's not like a five star. It's like mm -hmm. just because stats, because like I don't think because his stats are just so bad. Just like just a nice good hit mm -hmm. is all. It takes. It means nothing. All right, he's usable, but he has to be an install team, and it's pretty niche. Um, he can be really good if you build around them, but for now, it's pretty niche. Yeah. I I, I keep thinking B as in like I keep bringing that B's average. Yeah. So yeah, I agree with that. Um, Spartacus. Are we doing Are we doing A plus or S for Sparty? I know people love oppression. A. Yep. Uh, he is an extremely good farming server. I forget, does he have an NP charge too? Yes, he does. Yeah, he is a very, very good NP or NP. Uh, blah, 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 blah. He is a very good farmer. He's an extremely good farmer. Yeah. Hmm. He likes to heal, huh? <laughs> he likes to heal. A plus or S. A plus or S. And the Buster Buff. He had 30% NP charge on the Buster Buff. So I build the NP charge, heal spam. Yeah. Unless there's only farm around him. Yeah, I think I think S. I think S is fine. He if you're a newer player, um, you're gonna really need a lot of good farming units, and him and Arash are the top two, so I think it's worth it. Um, next up, we have Caligula. Will I do this for the four stars? Nah, the four stars have spotlights. I have a whole spotlight thing for the four stars. I'm only doing it for the three stars, so I'm gonna have to do like 70 different spotlights. Yeah. Mostly C. Um, what are his skills? Caligula. Caligula. Did he also have Imperial Privilege? Oh, he sure does. Frank A. Yeah, Imperial Privilege. Uh, Buster Buff, but he does damage himself. Uh, he does. A, he has a lot of demerits. Oh my god, and he doesn't do damage. You know, oh, it has do. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I, it's, it, I mean, his no kind of is pretty good, but it's like, Jesus, this kid Yeah, I'm, is I'm like looking towards D more than C right now. Yeah. Uh, somebody like sell me on like... C, because I'm struggling to see this. Ooh, like, all he needed to do was literally do some damage. 
Yeah, he right. does. He does have a good NPC, but it's like a seventy percent chance at one hundred percent overcharge. Uh, his face card damage is pretty good. Yeah, but so is Jill's face card damage. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, his third skill has a cooldown of three. Oh, that's right. true. I guess so. He has a triple buster deck. Uh, and he is a berserker, so he has class advantage or anything. I mean, like, he's gonna die, like, yeah, immediately I, he's gonna I, fucking I, die. I can't even, like, take his old fantastic <laughs> into consideration, because it's like, is it ever even gonna happen? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Uh Way better face card than damage than Jill, right? No survival, you cut Sony. Yeah, like, he has 6,000 HP, and then his skills that are his buffs cut his defense and his HP even more. For, for, for 10 per so, the first, I feel like the all his skills kind of intertwine, because, like, it's like, oh, I hit myself for 500, but he heals himself with second skill. I lower my defense for 10%, but my second skill increases my defense. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's, they're ignorable as long as you use them with second skill, and if it pops. I mean, yes, but if it doesn't pop, then yeah, you no. you might have it. That's a 10%. 10%. But it changes the But it's chance-based. It's 10%. I mean, what? your second skill is chance-based. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying even if the defense thing doesn't pop, it's 10%. Uh. I'm gonna put him in C because by virtue of him being a berserker and having a Buster buff, it could be pretty. Yeah, like he has like a lot. Usable, but he's like, yeah, he is the skills. lowest C on this tier list. Yeah. <laughs> like he is kissing the D right now. <laughs> yeah. is Caligula right is right there. He has the D like, in his face. The only reason why I would fight for C is just because all of his skills can <laughs> up the pack, and he's a berserker. He's literally just berserker go burr. Like. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Eric, Eric the Blood Axe. Another servant I'm not too familiar with. I know people can can uh, abuse him as well. Seems like a bunch of damage buffs, right? New Eric. Reduce uh, enemy's attack. Oh, he does. He go. He there we go. We found the Stereosis partner. Uh, reduce enemy attack guts. I'm going to zone debuffs. Fast Rocking AoE Noble Phantasm. Well, it actually deals damage. He hits himself? <laughs> Why? You do a thousand to yourself. Debuffs, max HP. First skill's not impressive. Uh, self Guts. I mean, her skill is D. It's okay once you. Uh, okay, that's thirty percent down. Mm, I mean, damn. Yeah, I mean, me wanting it to be AOE is a little. I think that'd be a little see. rough. No, Paul. Paul is definitely better. We're not. He's nowhere near Paul Bunyan. <laughs> Wait, what? They say he's nowhere near Paul Bunyan. We were saying Paul. Oh yeah, no, absolutely not. I mean, yeah, I like his. His NP is good because it's a. Um, the, the attack buff activates first. He does have a gut, so he's pretty defensive. And he does do the reduce enemy attack and defense. Uh, I'm torn between C and B. I would say... Wait, look, I need to look up Asterios again. So I'm like, dude... He's similar to Asterios. Very similar to Asterios, except I, I think Asterios is uh, a little better in that he can, like, his niche is just super exploitable. Um, I was, define super exploitable. Like, you pair him with other attack down servants and then just spam attack down. So, like, yeah, you but take damage. I would say, I would say Homeboys is more, um, Blood Axe, because Blood Axe is just a skill. Asterios is a no phantasm. Mm. 
And it may be stronger, but it's not stronger by much. Uh, he does have a 30% defense down, too. All right, we'll put him in B. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you can't, I don't think you can put him lower than Asterios. So. Uh, uh, Eric is a farming servant, a few farming tools. He has no charge. Like, I'm thinking, like, yeah, but I wouldn't even use the stereos for farming. I would use the stereos for stalling. Blood axe, I would use for farming, but he doesn't. Um... I I feel like I would use blood axe for stall. I like. I was only for two turns though. It's like ah, uh, one's a skill, one's an old phantasm, but it's an old phantasm. Like. Like I would, I think I. I'd I'd put him a B. I I think a B is fine. Yeah, I feel like you can't only because him and the stairs, while well, they have they have different roles, then mm. it's almost like the same. It's like same ballpark. Like listen, same. if you want, yeah, and if you want a farming berserker, Spartacus, go Spartacus. Blood Axe, I would say, is like a hybrid. Yeah, he can farm, but he's also like kind of defensive. Like he's a really weird skill set. I can see it being useful though. He like he's he's like a stereo. So you need the right team, and you can probably make something yeah. work with him. I agree. Situational. Um. Next. Salome. Solo what? Salome. Are you Salome? S A L O M E. The newest uh, addition to the Berserker Squad. Like, can I buy a bow? <laughs> salami. <laughs> yeah, salami. Salami. Salami is probably the one I'm the least familiar with of all the new servants. I've never even like really touched her. Uh, damage buff against good and lawful. Plus an attack buff. Debuff immunity. Increase own defense. Grants stuff even more attack. One attack. Ugh. Recovers own HP every turn for seven turns. Grant to. All right, this is her gimmick. So if uh, ooh, dance of lewdness. Um, a dance of lewdness. Delayed buff for seven charges. Party's NP gauge after seven turns. So she gives the entire party a one hundred percent NP charge if you can keep her alive for seven turns. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> She recovers own uh, HP every turn for seven turns. And she recovers her HP by a thousand every turn for seven turns. Uh, it's not impossible. Like, maybe in like longer fights. Oh, but she removes all her defensive buffs every turn. Mm. Taunt memes. Uh, yeah, that is true. You can like pair with George or something. One defensive buff, okay. So you stack defensive buffs on her. What's her MP do again? Deals damage to an enemy, it's like curse. Or MP doesn't really do anything. Wait, is it one enemy? Yeah, it's one enemy. So it's not even farming. Uh, why are all the berserkers so fucking weird? Why can't they just be straightforward? What Nox said. Mm, I'm leaning towards C. Oh, you get apparently. Oh uh, yeah. Even to keep her alive. Hmm. Yeah, the next one is straightforward. <laughs> I'm leaning between. C I'm gonna go C. And she's. Yeah. She's a meme. She's a meme. She's. She needs a lot of help. No how? How dare you? Another one fights the boss. I'm gonna be so drunk on Saturday. We sure are. Woo. All right, so Lubu, A plus or S? <laughs> Those are the only acceptable answers for my man Lubu. Yeah, he's super. He's like Herc. He's the biggest dickest of damage. A plus, big way A plus dies too quickly. He does die quickly. He is a one pump chump, yeah, but that he, like, he like, <laughs> you give you, you pump. I mean, he's got a lot to pump. A plus. He needs the force to get that. And if only there was like a uh, 
a really easy to acquire free to play support that gave like a a Merlin type buff to uh to berserkers or something, you know? If only. If only. <laughs> Yeah, I, as much as I want to put him in S, I think he's an A+. Plus. If he could, like, loop. <laughs> if he could get more than one NP off, he'd be an S. He'd be fucking chilling with uh, Chen Gong up there. But yeah, I'd, I'd say A+, plus is fine. Buster looping! Make it happen! Oh, uh, this dude from, um... What's his face? From, uh, Gouda Gouda. Are you also a limited servant? Where are you? Where are you? I can't see you on my list. Mori Nagayashi. You're a limited servant, aren't you? You are. This is Mori, yeah. So Mori is going to come out with Gudu Gudu 4 next year. He is a... Oh, wow. He did... I thought he had a straight Buster deck, but he has quick Arts Arts Buster Buster. It's kind of weird. A Zerk that you want to die. Perfect. Let's see. He has a crit. He has a 100% crit damage buff for three turns. That's amazing. If he has, assuming he has some kind of uh, star absorb. Grand stuff on attack. Activate buff for three attacks, three turns. Chance to increase attack for three turns when attacking. Five percent chance to reduce. On All right, so he just kills himself. And on death. We grant uh, 20 crit stars. All right, so he's a... Talk about a dude comes in and just fucks up everybody and then leaves. That's really good. That's what Berserker should be. That, yeah. Of, Plays to uh, his strength. Uh, yeah, he, he ignores defense and invincibility. That's good. And Chen Gong works for him, too. Yeah. And he's a crit Zerker. Oof. And he's a Um, I'm leaning towards the A or A plus. Yeah, same. Wow, that's a 100% crit damage buff. And Ooh. a 5,000. A 5,000. <laughs> if that crit absorb was three turns, that would he'd be an A. Or, yeah, I mean A plus, but I think he's an A. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Uh, Kiyohime. And yeah, and he's story locked. There we go. Or not story. He's not even story locked. He's limited. So you're probably not even going to get him to MP5. Yeah, he has a star absorber. Only that's for one turn. Kiyohime. He is, in my opinion. Maybe. He, uh, let me see. I don't want my, my bias to influence my decision. Yeah, you said ass, so I was like, girl. No, I didn't say ass. I, I trust me. Oh. Ass, so. I'm thinking between B and A. She's kind of standard. B rank for Izo. Hey, we were assuming NP1 or 2. Since he's limited. Uh, you know, she's standard AoE. She doesn't have an NP interlude. Mm. She can increase her defense, doesn't really matter much. 30% defense buff is pretty good though. Um, defense down on enemies, but also increases their attack. She can remove her own debuffs and increase her buster card effect. Nah. She's average. Definition of yeah. average to me. Yeah, it's like her B. Alright. Darius, the last of the Zerkers. Remember. Darius got buffed, so he kind of does some big, big damage now. That's one. Golden rule. Okay, but um, you only matter. Golden rule's not that impressive. Disengage is not that impressive. Uh, battle continuation. That Buster Resist Down is really good. Yeah. Um, and then he reduces enemies' attacks with his NP and defense and deals damage. To, uh, I think he's another. He's like a B. Yeah. 
feel like it'd be like if we had more if we had more um tiers like he would be like b plus probably a B plus, yeah like yeah. over kyo i would yeah i would put him over kyo but not strong enough to be an a all right we reached the home stretch we've got only the extra servants starting with my boy Angra Manyu, the man, the meme. I the... It, but I just <laughs> make sure. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, Drew wants to defend I the Manyu. I'm gonna look, look at the stat. I'm gonna look at the stat. Um, juice, uh, enemy, throw goal, chance, blah, okay, that's whatever. Yeah, the different. anti beast damage. There's yeah, oh my god. There's a lot. He stacks on. he stacks guts. Bunch of guts. Why oh my god, there's even more. I was like, this is it. and then he got a buff and I was like, oh my god, this is even more now. To save your eyes the trouble, I'm just throwing him in a D. Okay. He doesn't really have any incredible like his no phantasm is nothing. Oh, what do you mean the no. Never mind. <laughs> uh, if he if he had a taunt, maybe, but he doesn't. Some Salieri. <laughs> As like somebody once told me the Salieri is not an S. <laughs> uh, he's a decent arts crit support. I actually did a video on him too, so check that out. Um, yeah, he's an arts crit support. He's a B. Uh, yeah, he's like an upper B, but a B nonetheless. I would, I would, I'm gonna push him to A. He is good, but he is amazing. Oh yeah, and that and this uh, no phantasm thing kind of is chance. I mean, yeah. it's ass. Masha God, thanks for the follow. And yeah, I think he is limited or story locked, right? He's story locked. Yeah. Hey, this merit makes you not want to use him. <laughs> he, if you need an Avenger though, he's. Yeah. Okay, so Mosh is an S because she's literally the best tank. Uh, her and George, there we go, best tanks. Yeah. Um, okay, VR Kohai. I think I also did a spotlight on her. Um, mm. <laughs> she's a B plus two, but we don't have a B plus tier. The thing about her is she has a double taunt for herself, which is good. And one of those taunts is an invincibility, so she can eat two hits. And she has a decent defense buffing NP, so she's still a good tank. She's just not broken. Yeah, she is uh, a lot. She's a lot less. Let's say she is a lot less impressive. She's like a step below Leonidas, and definitely like six steps below George. B is average. B is just like, uh, no, all right. Yeah, they're good. B is good. You can work with B. Uh, wait, wait what's, what's our first skill again? I'm, oh, okay, so I might have to fight for B only because the first one's really bad. <laughs> the first one's really bad. What's our first skill? Increasing her buster performance. All right, well, ignore that skill. That skill doesn't, <laughs> that, that skill doesn't exist. <laughs> so, homegirl with two skills. Right? She has okay. two skills, but those two skills are pretty decent. Okay. Um, I won't cure him, King. I have it written down. So overall impressions of with the free-to-play servants, definitely for shoot for S first. Caesar's broken. He's up there with fucking five stars with his damage. Uh, Arash, best farmer. Uriel and Robin are just bully everything. They're better than most of the four-star archers, or at least a lot of the four-star archers. Um, Koo is a cockroach, he doesn't die. <laughs> Not a cockroach. <laughs> George and Mosh, best tanks. S Spartacus, another great farmer. Um, Chen Gong is the best buffer, probably. And he can kill things very quickly. So he can rotate people in. A lot of strats going around with rotating in the back row. Hans, Mozart, or the no, Mozart, Hans and Paracelsus, also great buffers, supports. And Ass Clap. Also great healer. So yeah, I'd say if you're starting the game out and you don't know who to, who to concentrate on, focus on the S tier first. Uh, a plus and A. The A plus is only slightly better than the A tier, so. You know. 
But hopefully this this list has helped anyone who was curious about what my my thoughts on the free to play servants are. And you know what? Two years down the line, we'll make another one of these videos when this video becomes uh, outdated. So yeah, I think that about wraps up. I did say I was gonna farm a bit, but we've been streaming for so long. I think I'm gonna end it here. Yep. Thank you guys for coming out and helping me rank these free to play servants. Big shout out to everyone who gave out uh, gift subs as well. Cheers to y'all. You're the real heroes of the stream. And um, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Until then, have a good night, everybody.